in holy matrimony, we have the top 10 entitled brides who need a reality check. Let's dive right into the wedding fails. Message details. Everything's blanked out. Subject wedding question. Message, hello, my fiance and I are looking for a wedding photographer, but are having some issues with the contracts we are coming across. We are wanting a clause that guarantees us a refund should we ever get divorced, since we would not need the photos in that situation. This is absolutely insane. Also, having prenuptial agreements and that sort of thing, you know, for certain scenarios. I don't really understand planning to get a divorce. That just seems to not make any sense. That's insane. I don't think that they found a photographer willing. Also imagine like so many years down the line and you gotta give them a refund. <laughs> 30 years in, they get a divorce and you gotta give them a refund? That'd be insane. Okay, good morning, blank. My name is blank. I am the wedding coordinator for blank and blank. We've got some other stuff blanked out. Rules and regulations. Do not talk to the bride at all. Everyone will toast with Remy. No acceptance. Lastly, must come with gift $75 or more or you won't be admitted in. If you're gonna have that many rules for the wedding and like insane rules, you might wanna at least send the email with no spelling mistakes. It's just a thought, just a thought, you know? Not trying to be rude, but geez Louise, people are crazy. Like I get it, some rules like are a little out there, but they like make sense and stuff. This is just pure entitlement. I love do not talk to the bride at all is really funny though. That would be what I want for my wedding. I will not grow sensitive and angry with the bride because I understand that she has a bossy attitude. <laughs> I'm assuming this is rule 21 on a list of rules. That's my guess, first of all, which is like its own thing, but I will just understand that if she's being rude, it's just cause she's a bossy attitude and I'm just supposed to deal with that. Definitely some sort of a texting conversation. This is your second wedding. You planned something. I took off work and got chewed out. I bought a dress I didn't need and even planned to cook for it as a favor and you canceled it last second. All right, we're done here. That's somebody who is upset that they got called out and can't really deny any of the things. I love you and want to do this with you and for you, but let me get my blank homework done. No, I'm done talking. Go get your homework done, lady. Don't act like you're trying to tell me what to do. Then whatever, dude, you're gonna blow this marriage too. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so, like that's so dumb. <laughs> If anybody has more context to like what this is, I really need to know because <laughs> this is just insane. This is your second wedding? Like what second wedding? Like did you get divorced before? Or is this your second wedding to the same person? This one's the definition of just entitlement. This is just an entitled person. Anyway, to secure your spot in our wedding party, the following things will be required. Before I even read more of this, securing your spot just seems like it's already like entitled language, you know what I mean? I do understand like, yeah, for sure you gotta like commit to the role, I agree with that. But there's just something about the language of you have to do these things to secure your spot, like it's some sort of like VIP thing and they should be like lucky for being in your wedding party, you know? You will sign a contract that holds you legally responsible for meeting all of our requirements and says that if you don't, you will be, you will be legally held to reimbursing us for the time we wasted and the stress of causing problems. Lady, I don't think I'm gonna be in your wedding party if there's like a threat of being sued. Cause what if you just have a bad time and then you feel like suing? Also, I'm not signing a legal contract to be in your wedding party, you weirdo. That's so weird. <laughs> That's weird behavior. If you do not get an invite, here is a list of potential reasons why. How sweet, thank you so much for creating a list for us, for compiling all the reasons. One, if I have invited you every time we have a group function and you never show up, fair enough. Two, if you are just a work acquaintance and I've never hung out with you outside of work, also fair enough. Three, if I show up to things you invite me to and you never show up to our invites or even respond. I mean, it's like kind of the same as number one, but I guess <laughs> this is just crazy, I feel like, this is like the thing you would send if you were in like elementary school, you know? I feel like you don't have to give like a reason why you didn't invite every single person that you work with to your wedding. Like girl, we just aren't friends. That's it. Doesn't mean we can't be great coworkers, but like sometimes you're just not friends with the people you work with. That's not weird. Hey, I am having a wedding emergency. But photographer canceled on me and I need a photographer bad. <laughs> 
your friend does weddings, right? She can help me? Hello? So this was two minutes apart, it looks like. It looks like this one right here. I know you can't, it's kind of cut off. So that looks like it's at 2.43 p.m. And then at 2.45, they said, hello. <laughs> Sorry, I just tried to call you. Give me a call when you have a minute to talk. But yes, blank does weddings. It's sweet that you think someone who is planning a wedding would have time for a phone call. Just text me. The wedding is the 28th. Winter Wonderland theme. Lol, I get that you're stressed out blank, but you don't need to be condescending. I'm trying to help, literally. And I'm glad that they called it out as they saw it. Listen, I do think that if you want a favor that you have time for a phone call, if that's my preferred method of communication, do you want the favor or not? Cause there's one way, Karen. <laughs> I need you to make a custom centerpiece for each of the 20 tables. Heart emoji. If each one could be a separate Disney villain, I would die. Oh, and could you also do a cake topper? Question mark. OMG, I'm flattered. But wait, the wedding is next week. That's not enough time for me. Yeah, it's next week, but we figured they can't be that long to make, right? Um, I'm assuming not, since she just said that that's not enough time. I would maybe see like how much time that is, like how much she could make in that time and then go from there, maybe figure something out. People are weird. It's like always weird when people want things on like a time limit that you just like, you literally said you can't do. You're like, no, that won't work. And they're like, but I really want it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Me too, that would be great. My business would be thriving if I could do that much in that short amount of time, don't you think? How many more orders could I get completed if I could just cut my timeline right in half? You know, people are weird. They just want miracles to happen for them. So, maid of honor fired. By the way, I'm having so much fun like <laughs> putting my spin on like the attitude that I think that these people had. <laughs> I've been messaging our group chat for helping with planning some stuff and the wedding shower, et cetera, et cetera. And they will read it and never reply, which is super frustrating. That's it. I feel like I need more from that one. I mean, yeah, if you're not replying, like maybe you're too busy for the maid of honor duties, which is fair. Cause like, that's a lot of stuff. Maid of Honor is expected to do a lot of stuff sometimes. What's the time limit we're giving her to reply? You know, maybe she's at work. I need to know more about this one. Warning, rant ahead. Stop sign emoji. I'm getting married next Saturday the 16th. All of my bridesmaids are gorgeous and honestly, I can't imagine having better looking friends. My issue is it's my fiance's best man. He's only five foot three, so he will look ridiculous escorting my sister down the aisle. He is homely as well. <laughs> Like what? A unibrow and crooked teeth. One of those really big smiles that shows off his teeth, God forbid. And 10, and 10 feet of gum off too. Oh my God. That's not a rant. That's a goddamn roast. Jeez, like chill. Oh my God, that's crazy. And you put that on the internet of all things. First of all, why does it matter? They don't have to look like a couple going down the aisle. Like it's just whatever. Second of all, why do your opinions on his appearance matter at all? You know what I mean? It's just so irrelevant. Shouldn't you be focused on like being married? <laughs> Instead of like, oh, I don't find my husband's best friend attractive. You weirdo, that's weird. Guys, that's it. That's all the entitled brides we have today. Hope you had a fun silly goose time, I sure did. Um, Let me know down below the craziest wedding story that you have. You know, what just went awry? Could be at your wedding, someone else's wedding. I just wanna know. I love wedding stories. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlovsky. I'll see you again soon, goodbye. Oh my gosh, imagine, I'm like, good luck reading that. <laughs> okay, we'll do normal react and we'll zoom in even more okay just waiting for that bar to go away perfect okay